What you doing? So just now, using a router and a little round off bit, um, I cut a one one and a half by one and a half from one of our scrap pieces of board. This is going to be the cross piece that we were talking about to separate the bedding from the potty area and the play area. Um, when cutting it, it leaves super sharp edges, of course. So I was using the round off bit to round those edges off. So now it's a little rounder, not as sharp and likely to tear things or hurt things or whatever. Yeah. My creation. Should I sit over here in the bed area? Yes. Should I lay in the bed area? So lay in the bed area. Like one does. So that'll be the bed area. Very good. Beautiful. Yep, bed area. Okay. And then what happens? And then, oh, and then they wake up. Oh, and, and they poop. Yep. <laughs> and then they go over here. And they play. Play. Thanks for the lovely demonstration, yeah, Kyle. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> We're very excited. So you wrapped... So we did this board here, and we wrapped it around, so we like stapled it on one side, and then we wrapped it around and stapled it on the same side, it's on the bottom, so that way they can't, like there's no little seams and stuff for the puppies to get into. And then we did this board um, the same way. Uh, we had to do the ends a little different, we cut off little squares for the ends because we didn't have as wide of a piece as we wanted. Um, but anyways, it turned out really good. Um, Screws are on the bottom, staples are on the bottom, uh, again, so puppies don't have things to get into. Um, yeah. Now we add puppies. Now we're going to add bedding first. That's what I meant. Yeah, bedding and then pottying things and food bowls and whatnots and puppies. And then videos incoming. So here we have the puppies and Mama in the bed. She just kind of walked in there when we started laying the puppies in there. Um, she apparently approves the size seems perfect amber was was a good idea on moving the uh that part out away a little bit from the corner um that's kind of fun using my finger to point at things on the camera um have our puppy area here lined in with four puppy pads we came up a little bit on the sides kind of like we did the vinyl around the outside of the frame to prevent stuff from getting up under the uh the little divider boards there and, and we, we know like it's, I mean, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But we're hoping to try to minimize that as much as possible. And then we have our play area with our cool little uh, teething toys that are cleaned off now. Um, so, yeah, they're nursing. They, they, everything seems good. I think they're going to be comfortable. We will uh, have to wait and see and see how it goes. Hopefully this is what, everything we wanted it to be. Thanks. Bye. These are our two dogs. Two of them. Hammer, Tolly, Duncan, somewhere. And then we have now our baby gate for the hallway. So we're going to go in. This way mom can hang out with us. Um, and have a little space away from the puppies. And we've got puppy room. We've got the sleeping area. We're going to put in the um, heat mat under the bedding in the corner there to help encourage them to sleep there. And then they've got their potty area, then they've got play area, and then for mom we have dog bed, food and water station, and a cool place in the closet since she's been wanting to get in there for some reason. Um, and then this is where we weigh the puppies and keep clean bedding. Um, and this is it. Yep. Aren't they just cute as stinkers? Yep. No, <gasps> oh, it's fine. They haven't quite figured out yet that they can go to life, but one of them is slowly putting a toe over the line. So. They keep seeing that drop off of the of the ledge and they're like, uh. I think they're just full currently, but we each have our own opinions. <laughs> they're only three weeks, so we're we're jumping the gun a little bit on this, but they're we're a couple of escapes, so it was time. It's a thing that needed to be done, and now it's done, and we're ready for the, the next week. Quick, go take all the puppies and put them on the pee spot so they pee over here because they're peeing. That one that's peeing. Don't fall over. Oh, and we need to trim nails. Yeah, they're still kind of dragging their feet when they walk, too. Apparently we don't like change. Jerk. 
<laughs> she needs your own butthole. <laughs> Is that the male with the heart on his belly? I think so. Because that would be appropriate. She did adopt you. <laughs> we could have thought better with their color pattern to have the back wall be red, but live and learn. We definitely had more red than we did blue fabric. They, we got the last of the blue on the, the spool. Yeah. Exploring some. <laughs> hey, don't go over there. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to stop and trim their nails and get them some gruel. Thanks for following. We just had our first, our second grill feeding, first time in the puppy pen. Worked out very, very good. Mom's being a trooper and cleaning up everything. Some puppies have already retired for a nap. Some puppies are, have found the toys and are rough housing. They finally checked out the space. This is a very talky litter.
You're such a good girl, Mama.